everyone, it's TRF with another good video. Um, so this time around, I wanted to make another shoe review and some unboxing for the Wilson Rush Pro 2.5. It came out this year and it's been pretty slept on. Not many people are actually wearing it, but I think based on how I wore the 2.0, Rush Pro, it was a great shoe, and I think it could challenge the top top dogs like A6, Gel Resolution 7, and the Nike Vapor. And when doing this unboxing, obviously I haven't worn this shoe, but I can give you my take on the 2.0's aspects and how I think this one will also be as good. So let's take a look. Okay, the first you can see is. 2.5 in size 10 and a half men's. Okay. So, there we go, everyone. So, this is what the shoe looks like. Um, it's pretty nice. I'll take it out. It's very cool looking, just like the 2.0, but the main difference you can tell is they've tried to make the materials better quality. A main issue I had with the, the 2.0 was I just didn't like how the quality was over time. Um, it just felt really good the first month, but then when it was wearing down after that first month, the materials started falling apart. This was all worn out, and I've I don't really drag my 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 heels around, but I do drag um, my toes, and this part actually split open during a, a match, and that caused some injury. And also another gross thing is keep in mind when you're wearing the Wilson Rush Pros, they have this like mesh material here, and I know when you sweat, you can they see like this black these black sweat stains with the dirt marks, but that's not just from the dust and, st and other debris on the court. It's actually just mold sometimes. Like the Rush Pro 2.0 will turn brown around this area. So I highly avoid getting the white one if you don't want to wash it and stuff because it can turn pretty nasty. Okay, so it's a standard Wilson insole, Ortholite, you can see it right there. Yeah, there we go. With the light, um, they changed up the mesh a little bit here. They made this more uh, stable, kind of like it feels a little bit like the outsole, but it's not. And this is a lot, kind of like a sock, not like the other one was like fishing material. So, and this feels like the outsole too. So I'm worried about this part. Uh, wearing through, but it'll probably be more stable and supportive as the um, compared to like the 2.0. The 2.0 is like hard plastic, kind of like those Stan Smith shoes, so you'd want to avoid that. And now they finally have a, a loop for your tongue, which I'm really glad for. Because before the tongue would be all over the place. And you can see here the medial side is more uniform. I liked how the one before was very stable. Um, exact same, same little uh, DF mid sole shank. They have Wilson now here instead of the W. Got rid of all that mesh plastic that was unstable for the heel. And I like the pop in here, exact same bottom. Um, if you play on your forefoot, you'll notice the W will wear down in like the first week. But other than that, I thought that the shoe wore down pretty evenly. So yeah, I hope the shoe uh, is a great product. I'll probably give a reaction or review video again to follow up. It's good. It looks great, but hopefully it does surpass the 2.0's lack of stability over time. 
and more breathable on the upper. So thanks for watching.